Hello, Aquarius viewers. So last reading I did, I was getting that there was a man that was kind of getting frustrated with you. Um, you know, could be a, could even be a friend, could be a, most likely a lover, um, you know, ex, twin flame, soulmate, current person, however it resonates with you. But just somebody that was getting frustrated and they were trying to, they know that you've been through a lot and so they're trying to be patient with you. But they're, they were kind of starting to have a hard time being patient. And, and um, yeah, there was just some, some back and forth kind of energy there where they're, they're trying to be stable and grounded for you. But I think that it's just they're getting frustrated. So let's see what's going on in your love life now. So Aquarius viewers, what's, what's an update? What is going on in your love life now? What do you need to know right now about your love life? What do you need to know? What do you need to know about your love life? Individuality. High Priestess of Air. Okay. Love. Forbidden, letting go. So I think this spread is just about you and about how you're making healthier choices and you're kind of like getting through these blocks. I think you're realizing that your person, um, you know, loves you for you, that they see you as an individual, they, they see you as different from the rest and you're starting to kind of love yourself as well a little bit more. Um, and you're just, you're realizing that this person isn't somebody that you need to keep questioning. You're kind of starting to, you're just starting to work through the doubts, I feel. You're starting to work through the fear and the blocks and the doubts. Um, this could be another air sign as well. But you're realizing, you know, you're seeing yourself as different and unique. You're starting to be a little bit more confident. You're starting to heal yourself, I feel. And you're realizing that this person really does love you, that this person really is committed to you. And you're kind of just starting to let go of the things that were forbidden to you, um, like toxic or emotionally unavailable relationships in the past or um, just control issues or just blocks and fear and just um, the things that were holding you back from life. You're, you're starting to let go of those things and you're starting to choose love now. You're starting to really work on healing yourself and, um, and opening up and it is starting to manifest in the physical world. So you you are doing well. You're you're getting to that point that you want to be at. All right, let's see what the tarot cards have to say about this connection. All right, so Aquarius viewers, what do the what do you guys need to know about your love lives right now? What do you guys need to know about your love lives right now? If you're just getting into doing tarot readings too, you know, just, just pull the cards however it feels right for you. There's not really like a right way to do it. You can do it from the bottom. You can do it from the top. You can do it the way I do it. It's, it's whatever works for you. I like it this way best because I don't overthink it when I do it this way. Okay. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay, so a lot of like, passionate, fiery energy here. Possibly even a fire sign. Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, it's good energy. It's really, it's, it's looking better, I think. Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands. The Moon. The star. Yeah, see, you're, you're kind of getting out of that, like, I almost feel like you went through a phase where you, like, hated men or hated, if you know, if you hated women, however that plays out. Um, you just kind of, like, like, in the past, you were kind of in that energy where you were just done. Like, you were just done with everybody. You just didn't trust anybody. And, and now you're starting to get your trust back. You're starting to be hopeful. You're starting to open yourself up to love again. Um, so it's really good energy here and you're doing it, you know, it is physically manifesting 
and you are starting to draw love into your life. You know, you've already got somebody here for most of you, but for those that don't, I feel like you're you're starting to draw love in because you're starting to get in like alignment with it more. You're starting to open yourself up to it more. With the Knight of Wands here, I kind of want to say that in the past you might have been, um, maybe still are a little bit impulsive. It's kind of like, like you see her energy. It's like, it's, it's a very, it's a very fast acting energy. It's very bold and audacious. Um, but it's like, it can, it can be negative. It can be negative or positive. It's like, you might have a bit of a temper sometimes too, you know? Then I think your person is the Knight of Pentacles here in this reading. You know, so we have the Queen of Wands and that's you. That's this, um, you almost have energy similar to a fire sign. You have very like, like this bold kind of, um, just a very strong energy to you. Um, and you know, the Queen of Wands, it's like somebody who is courageous and, and charismatic and um, just they they just have that intense energy to them um, very like seductive and kind of flirty and and out there you know they're they're not really this isn't like the wallflower type or if they are that's it's like very rare that they're like that I feel with this energy I kind of want to say, too, that this is you moving from the Knight of Wands to the Queen of Wands. Like, you were the Knight of Wands. You were this person that was kind of bitter and angry. And, you know, we all, we've all been there. We've all been there. It's totally normal. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, people go through that phase. You know, we, a lot of us go through the Dark Knight of the Soul more than once. A lot of us go through those phases. Like, it's normal, especially if you've been hurt a lot. Um, but I almost want to say that you are in this Knight of Wands energy. And um, you're starting to like transition into the Queen of Wands instead, which is like um, the same fiery, passionate energy, but you're expressing it in like a more positive, healthy way now, if that makes sense. Whereas before, this is just like, like just, it's bold, but it's almost like, I mean, I always, when I read the cards, I always read them differently in each reading. So I always, this could mean something different in the next reading I do if I pull it, you know what I mean? Like it, I always just intuitively feel the energy I get in the specific read. So they, they always mean a little bit something very similar, but different each read. Um, and I almost feel like this is like boldness, but it's like not like a good boldness, if that makes sense. It's almost like, being way too quick to tell someone to F off or being too quick to get defensive or too quick to make assumptions or too quick to judge somebody um, or just too quick to like put your walls up and just be like, screw everybody. I don't have anybody but myself. I'm just, you know, looking out for number one, like that kind of energy. But you're working through it. You really, you're working through that. And it just comes from damage. You know, I think it just comes from what you've been through with people. And I think that your person realizes that. And I think that your person, um, this person that's, you know, wanting to be, that either is close to you or is wanting to be close to you, he or she is noticing these changes that you're making right now because you're transitioning from being in this energy to being in the Queen of Wands energy. And, you know, you see her, she's like, she's just as passionate and powerful and um, energetic, but in like, a better way it's more like it's like more of a genuine self-confidence and like a charisma and like a a free-spirited just seductive powerful energy you know what I mean it's it's like she's still outspoken sometimes but she's learning to um you know choose her words more carefully and and learning to be patient and learning to choose her words more wisely and not just instantly like f you 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 know blah 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 like not not playing the victim so much anymore not um feeling attacked when there's no reason to feel attacked so that kind of energy like you're finding more of a balance I think and and yeah you're getting into your power you're getting into this this fiery fiery queen energy where it's, it's like again the same passion the same power the same outspokenness and free-spiritedness and that same wild raw energy you know, that your masculine loves about you. It's, it's a beautiful energy. It's good, but you're just learning to find that balance so that you don't say things you don't mean or you don't, like, you're just not too quick to, to judge or to, to guard yourself or to make assumptions. You know what I mean? You're just, you're learning to be passionate and powerful and um, just finding more of a balance with that power, though. You know what I mean? You're, so you're transitioning. And um, 
I kind of think that your masculine is, he's, you see how he's, you see, this is your masculine right here, the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who's pretty stable. Um, and you see how he's looking, look at that energy. That's, that's, he's looking at this energy right here. He's looking at your transition. He's, he's kind of watching. He's kind of sitting back and observing and saying, all right, is she really, does she, is she really going to stay in this energy? Is she really going to stop questioning me so much? Is she really going to continue on this path of, of bettering herself and communicating with me better and, you know, trying to make our relationship more stable and more secure? Like, is she really going to continue to, to let go of the past? And um, you are, you are, you're doing it. You're working on it right now. Your person is a little bit guarded. Um, might have been some hurtful words said. Uh, they they're a little guarded, but but they're they're still giving it a chance. They still want this, from what I see. Like at least at this point, they still want it. They're they're a little. They just seem a little bit guarded, um, a little bit more than they were before. But um, but they're watching. They are watching, and it's good. They're still open to you. They're still they're still wanting this connection. They're just, they're wanting to make sure it's consistent. They want to make sure that you're in that Queen of Wands energy consistently. They want to make sure that the communication and the stability and the consistency is there. You know what I mean? They want to make sure that it's not just like things change for a week or a few weeks and then it's back to the same crap as before. They want to, they want to take the time and really make sure that this change that's happening right now is going to be solid and long lasting. And I kind of feel like with this Ace of Cups, it's like as long as you're consistent and this energy is consistent and stable and reliable and, you know, you really let this person know that you're working on it and that you are trying to be open with them, um, you know, and you guys keep communicating, keep being open with each other, then you do come to this Ace of Cups, which is, you know, a birth of new love and romance and... Um, if you guys are already together, then this would be like a new phase of your relationship, like a more open, um, a more communicative phase of your relationship, um, taking things to the next level, basically. And with the Seven of Wands here, it's kind of like, I feel like this is past energy. It's like that defensiveness and that, you know, competition and, and power struggle and ego and all that. But you're choosing the moon. You're choosing to be intuitive. You're choosing to look towards the... Um, the star you're choosing you know you're 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 looking away from the seven of wands you see that you're um you're looking away from this energy right here you're you're choosing to to work through this energy and you're choosing not to let your past define you anymore you're choosing to make your destiny what you want it to be to make your life what you want it to be and with the moon here you're looking forward to the um the star and you're planning you're planting these seeds you're um you're hopeful again you're open again you're you're trying again you're you're making the effort again you're um you're putting yourself out there for love again i feel with the star here it's like you're just you're planting these seeds you're really thinking about what you want and you're making that happen and you're choosing your intuition you know what i mean you're choosing to rise above that old past energy and your old patterns and ways of doing things and like you know, just being angry or defensive by default or just immediately like not hearing what people are saying and kind of misunderstanding their words and taking them as personal attacks. Like you're really making the effort to listen to what people saying are saying and like understanding the energy behind their words, understanding their words and not just interpreting it based on your past experiences. You know, you're really like starting to just listen to what people are actually saying instead of what your insecurities and fears tell you people are saying. Um, you know what I mean? So you're, you're hearing people in like a more honest light. You're, you're understanding people a little bit more. You're, you're working on communicating better. And, you know, just, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep trying to find that balance. Keep trying to find like that temperance energy where you, you know, that queen of wands energy, that, that temperance energy, that just, um, that balance between light and darkness, you know, like not... Don't, don't hold back what you feel. Don't like suppress what you feel, but don't like burst out at people either. Don't let things build up until you burst and then end up sabotaging relationships and friendships. You know what I mean? Like try to just, you know, say, Hey, like I felt this way about this and, and try to just 
have like a more healthy style of communication. Like you don't want to, you don't want to bottle things up. Like you want to make sure that you're expressing your emotions genuinely and that you're, you're being honest with yourself about how you feel and you're being honest with others about how you feel, but just don't blow up on people is the only thing, you know what I mean? Don't let it get to a point where you don't say anything and then you just explode. Like just try to, if, if something's bothering you, try to talk about it, but try to talk about it in like a calm and more grounded way. Um, but you still want to express yourself for sure. You still want to make sure that you just, you just need that balance. You just, you need to keep finding that balance. Um, and yeah, you, you know, your person is watching. He's watching to see him or her. They're, they're watching to see if, um, if the change sticks, if this is going to be consistent. But yeah, with the, with the moon and the star here, it's like you are choosing to move forward. You are choosing to, um, to make your life what you want it to be and and that energy is showing so just just keep up with that just keep finding that balance keep um <clears throat> keep doing the healing work that you've been doing and if this resonates then please subscribe to me thank you guys for watching have a good day